Welcome to another edition of the Spirit Talk Show with your host, Sandra Embleton, that is me, and my guest is um, today is Vanessa Fierro, and Vanessa is here to share an amazing uh, story that happened to her, and the reason we want to share it is because um, it's a great example of spirituality in action. <laughs> so uh, we want to bring in the right energy, so we thought we would just begin this by filming uh, on, on video how it is we do this. So I'm going to hand this over to Vanessa for a moment. She's going to bring in the right energy. Okay, so Vanessa, so we're just going to close our eyes. Close our eyes, take a few deep breaths. Just take a few deep breaths. Center all your energy into your heart. <sighs> Just inviting and acknowledging all the energy that works through both of us. That source, the beautiful blessing that I received, that I'll be sharing through this story. And we also ask that our guides mm -hmm. and all the ascended masters and the light beings that are here to help us with this be present. And all those people who are meant to be hearing and watching this will receive the energy frequencies that are being emitted through us and will understand this story. Yes. All right, so I'm going to give so you a, a preamble. <laughs> so we're going to start the story in Toronto when yes. Vanessa went to visit. Who are you visiting? Uh, Master Venya uh, from the Master Shaw Healing Hand Center in Toronto downtown. They have a center in Scarborough and they have one that meets every Friday night at 6.30 p.m. If you want more details, we'll add a link below. Um, and yeah, I went there on Friday. And what happened that was so amazing? <laughs> Quickly. Yeah. I got there, and on my way there, I heard intuitively that like I was going to be receiving a blessing by being there. And I think I, I do that often. I look for and expect blessings and miracles wherever I go. And I know that I'm meant to be there, and so I expect those things in a way. Well, what I love um, and we want to share is that when you do receive a message or you hear something, yes. don't discount it. Like re listen yeah. when it says that to you because you're receiving a message in your higher self and our our tendency is to, oh that's Dismiss ridiculous it. and yes. that's maybe that won't happen to me tonight and what whatever. So you end up going to this thing, you meet this so, amazing woman. Yes, Master Venier is amazing. She's a goddess anyhow so I went there I went to the session to the group and um, long behold after a few exercises and mantras she actually came out with an uh, epic powerful calligraphy that stood for divine ultimate divine forgiveness and she asked who would like to receive this blessing and so everybody puts up their hand and as did I and I remember hearing right away this this is for you and I was like, okay, well, don't get attached. If it's not for you, it's not meant for you. Like, let it only be for you if it's meant for you. And the heat in my right hand started getting so hot, and then I heard her call out my name. And um, I went into the center of the room. I sat down in, in a chair and just was ready to receive this blessing that she was going to give me in the form of calligraphy um, and send it to me. And so that's what I did. I sat down, I closed my eyes, and I received this blessing. So when you mean it was in the form of calligraphy, I don't understand that. Okay, so um, how I found Master Venier was through a friend, Chris, um, who's an amazing energy healer. Who in a past life was the energy and carries the energy of Siddhartha. Yes. One of my favorite people. <laughs> yes. That's and, right. Um, I am a light language channeler. Um, you can find out more about that on my page and stuff. But he yeah. shared that with me. Yeah. So he said, oh, you're a light language channeler. I know this other source of energy that uses light language, but they call it soul language. And that's how they introduced me to Master Venier. But they don't just do language like singing or transmissions. They actually write out the light language. Okay, so the calligraphy comes from the writing out of the light yes, language. of the soul language. And so what I understand from you sharing earlier was that they downloaded this calligraphy, calligraphy frequency of forgiveness into your body. Yes. And, but not life. just into your body, but to every cell in your body. Yes. And you, you were told this, were you not, yes. by the other beings that were there? Yes. 
that's phenomenal, right? That everybody got to speak and share what they saw during this blessing, what it is I received. And uh, one person said exactly that. It's as if they were putting in that calligraphy into every cell in your body. Someone else mentioned they saw my Akashic records open and this symbol was just planted into it. And as an experience myself, as I was walking to the chair to receive it, I remember thinking, having the thought, I'm not receiving this just for me, but for every single person who's going to be served through this, this healing, through this blessing that I'm receiving, which is very interesting to the story. So, <laughs> so you received this amazing blessing from this yes. woman, and it was the blessing of forgiveness, yes. but then she also said something important to you. What yes. did she say? So this is really weird for me. So she had said the blessing I received was a life-saving blessing, that I was going to be in a plane crash or that's what the path I was on, but after this blessing, I was no longer going to die on a plane. <laughs> and you were thinking that's silly because... There's no way to ever tell, like, how can you just true. walk around and tell people, oh, you got a life-saving blessing, you're going to get hit by a car, but you're not anymore. It's like, how can how you can ever you measure that? that yeah, right? how can you prove that? So, so ultimately, what happens? Fast forward. <laughs> fast forward, I am... Uh, that night, that same night, right? Was it Friday? Did you see her on the Friday? Yeah, I did. And then that night you went to get in a plane, did you not? No, it wasn't on Friday the same okay. night. No, okay. no, no, no. So this happened Friday here in Toronto. Then I went, I received my blessing. I, I was very humbled by it. It was a very profound experience for me. I cried. I reacted emotionally. It was insane. It was awesome. And then fast forward, I get on a plane. I go to California. I'm in California for 10 days, and then I'm planning to come home. And so now we're fast forward, Friday, June 3rd at 10 p.m. I'm at LAX trying to get on a plane and it got canceled. And so they set me up in a hotel, fast forward Saturday morning. I'm about to get on a plane at 8 a.m. and come home to Toronto. However, it's been one problem after another. They couldn't check my luggage. Then something else was happening with another person that was trying to get on the plane. It and they were they ended up getting ill or something. Yeah, so it was just various different things. So there's a lot of stuff interfering with you getting on this plane, and other people were feeling it too. Am yes. I correct? Yes. And didn't you actually board the plane at one point? Were you sitting on the Everybody tarmac? Everybody boarded the plane. Everybody, Everybody boarded, boarded, the plane. boarded the plane. We were going to leave, and then someone got sick, felt sick on the plane, and so she left, and her husband left. And it was in that moment that this memory of the blessing that I received came into my awareness. So I was like, is this one of those signs? Should I be getting off this plane? Like, are these all these signs telling me to get off? And I went into the fear a bit, and then I thought, okay, angels or God or whoever, right? Like, it doesn't matter what you call them, but however you describe this energy that works with you. I asked them, if I'm not meant to go anywhere, then I'm just not going to go anywhere, and I'm just going to trust. And so I stayed on the plane. Um... But two minutes later, an announcement came on and said that, thankfully, they found that there's something wrong with the engine. <laughs> and we were all going to have to get off the plane and get transferred to another aircraft. So we were on that plane for almost an hour and waiting for so many different things to happen. Because, yeah. But one thing after another yeah. continued to happen. Yeah. And wasn't, uh, weren't you at one point standing um, then having to go in a lineup? Yes. and rebook and everyone had to find their own way to yes. their destination yes. and wasn't there a man standing there in the lineup <laughs> and tell us what he was saying well he was really upset he was kind of pissed off and um, everybody was really upset I mean we got off the plane at 9 after already being there for an hour and then just delay after delay after delay it was like 2.30, 3 o'clock in the afternoon when it's finally cancelled so he said he was just complaining about the situation and, then, and I would be too I'd be so frustrated yeah. Yeah. after was, waiting how many hours to get on a plane it was very tiring like, like from everyone. Friday night till Saturday afternoon yeah I would be out of my mind I'd be ripping my hair out going what <laughs> and this guy was upset and what did I you was say? happy as shit I mean and, <laughs> and what, did you, what did you I told say? him I'm like well what if it crashed and he's like <gasps> like just shocked and then I was like imagine what if it had crashed I mean, this is better off, no? And he goes, well, yeah, when you put it that way, like, <laughs> yeah, it's great. I'm like, okay, so let's be thankful that we didn't take off because it could have crashed. You, from that point, shifted his awareness. Yes. And 
What about your awareness? Did your awareness shift oh, at that point? As soon as I got off the plane, I already knew that this was the life-saving blessing she had told me about. The life-saving had, blessing. That had come into my life and shifted everything for me and everybody on that plane. And then when I was in line, I shared it with a wonderful epic goddess. Um, I shared the story with her. I just felt called to. And she's like, I'm so glad you told me that because as soon as I got the plane, I started feeling heat and I was really scared and I actually thought about getting off the plane. And so this is before any announcements too. So there was about three or four other people that actually confessed to feeling uneasy or something was off, right? Yeah. And um, yeah, but it's really phenomenal because as soon as we got off and the whole day, well, all these circumstances are happening everybody's frustrated i just kept saying thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you and thank you <laughs> what i am most impressed about and one of the points that i would like to share that impacted me the most from this story was when you're a light being and when you're a light worker and um god places you wherever it is that you are you never know when you're going to be called upon to be that light and for Vanessa to be in the uh, crowd of individuals, the people that were on that plane, to be sitting there and then to be the voice that was in the gratitude that, hey, you know, maybe this is a good thing, that this is happening. And clearly it was. So for you to have that presence of awareness in a situation mm -hmm. where other people were losing their cool, and you were able to ground, literally ground the plane. <laughs> and I see that very clearly, that that's what you were there to do. In other words, your presence, your light being was there to sit in that plane. And really, this plane's taken off over my dead body because it's not going <laughs> off the ground. And I, because I am the, uh, you know, I have the vision uh, to be able to see this, I can see that scenario and feel very strongly um, that that was your role and then later on to carry it forward and to bring that peace and that shift of the thought the shift of awareness of um, You know, oh, this is a bad thing to hey, wait a minute. Maybe this is a really good thing yeah. so we had to make this video because It just yeah. goes to show you never know where you're going to be called and You you know to trust those feelings because it wasn't just you on the plane that was feeling uneasy no. um, And this isn't to make people scared or anything from flying. No, this is a, a, About when something is not meant to be trust it yeah. Trust it even to the point where she received the blessing. She was told it's a life-saving blessing But not just for her but for others around her yeah. and then to have it fulfilled and a short 10 days later. It's a miraculous story. It's and crazy. it's noteworthy and we decided we would shoot yeah. an episode of the Spirit yeah, Talk Show to, sure. to, to share it with you. So yes. thanks for listening and if you have any comments or any similar um, incidents or s situations that you've experienced you want to share with us, please do so and comment and like us. Please and do. Uh, yes, we will yes. talk to you soon. Bye. Thank you for listening.